A teenage boy sticks a needle in his arm for a high. Does he realize that his drug use could threaten his life 30 years later? That's exactly what happened to Casey Treat. In 2003, he took a routine medical exam for a life insurance policy. But the policy was refused. Casey had hepatitis C, and it was killing him. At that time, they said I had a 4% chance of clearing the virus and that most likely what was going to happen is over the next few years, my liver would fail. Then I would either need a liver transplant, which was difficult, or I would die young. At first, Casey couldn't figure out where he might have contracted hepatitis C. Then the doctor explained to him and his wife, Wendy, that hepatitis C is a slow growing virus, likely introduced into Casey's bloodstream years ago when he was abusing IV drugs as a teenager. Regardless of when or where it started, the was fight was on. From the moment I sat down with Wendy, it was never, I'm sick, I could die. It was, I've been diagnosed with hepatitis C and we have a battle that we will win. I cried and, and, and then I said, okay, what, what am I gonna do? You know, how am I gonna deal with this? Casey and I, of course, came and we prayed together. Of course, Wendy and I staying in agreement, not just kind of, nonchalantly, oh yeah, we're praying. Mm -hmm. No, purposefully praying, specifically praying, and purposefully agreeing together in prayer. Doctors recommended a double dose of chemotherapy and other medicines for 11 months. But they told him that even with treatment, there was just a 4% chance of clearing the disease. With so few options, Casey needed direction. Then one of his physicians and friend shared a scripture with him that gave Casey a plan of attack. The scripture that I received was Proverbs 18 and verse 9, and the Amplified Version says, Use every endeavor to heal yourself, lest you are brother to him who commits suicide. So to me, that said, use all your tools, medicine, prayer, faith, doctors, treatment, chiropractic care, naturopathic care, use it all. And that's what they did. I think that sometimes we, we take the either or approach. Should I trust God or should I um, use medicine? Well, to me, that's like saying, should I trust God or should I eat healthy? Well, let's do both. You know, can I believe the Bible or should I drink lots of fresh water? Yes, do both. And if there's medicine that can help, let's trust God and let's use the medicine. Casey continued to pastor his church of 8,000 in the greater Seattle area. And for 11 months, he received double doses of chemotherapy. He experienced the common side effects of the treatment, nausea, fatigue, hair loss, and weight loss. But he also stuck with a diet rich in fruits and vegetables, drank lots of water, and visited a chiropractor regularly. There were hard days. There were sad days. Um, I reserve days when I'm by myself to get depressed. <laughs> and then, you know, when I'm with the family and the church, it's like, hey, we have, we have a life to live and let's get on with it. Amazingly, the virus cleared in the first month of treatments. But because hepatitis C can hide and return much stronger, Casey continued his regimen. So I spent, you know, 10 months with no viral load, with no trace of the symptom or of the uh, disease but I obeyed their counsel because I wanted to complete everything that I'd started. After all the treatments ended, doctors monitored Casey for the next two years. Then finally, the doctor wrote a letter actually to the insurance company. And he said, you uh, can insure Mr. Treat. Uh, he will die someday, but it won't be from hepatitis. <laughs> Casey wants to reach out to others during their darkest hour. So he wrote, how to be your best when you feel your worst. He says that he doesn't believe he's any more special than anyone else. He just believes God gave him a plan and he followed it. it Wendy agrees. It, it's, it's amazing, it's exciting, but it's very, it's very, it's the tangible of living by faith mm -hmm. is that we do trust in God and that we have a destiny and we have a journey. And there are times that in order to complete our earth destiny and journey, we've got to fight. I think, yeah, I think God said, I'll make you a better pastor a better husband, a better father, as you walk through this disease. Not because it was God's will for me to be sick, but because God is so big that if we're truly walking with Him, 
Even the attacks of the enemy add to our life and only make us better.